I am so excited to share this with you guys because it is the number one thing that I have learned this year that has freed me up emotionally. I know a lot of you are carrying these heavy weights on your shoulders. Maybe it's anxiety or just stress in general, a desire to be good enough to maybe it's perfectionism or people pleasing or to, you know, hold on to your, you know, identity and show yourself to be somebody that's confident and significant in this world. Um, And we spend so much energy doing that. And for so long, I was in that same boat, spending so much energy trying to maintain this appearance of um, not only that I was significant, but that I was confident and I was skilled and knowledgeable and wise. And I really wanted other people to see me that way. And that takes up so much of our mental space and energy when we're in social situations or, or whatever else, just generally in our life and the decisions that we're making. But here's what has changed the game for me. And it is one word, humility. Now don't tune out. Don't tune out here because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, obviously, whatever. Yeah, we're supposed to be humble. That's what the Bible says. But no, no, legitimately, this is what it's done for me. And I want to help you tap into this as well. So in the Bible, it talks about humility having a lot of different outcomes and results or maybe rewards is a better um, way way to phrase it. But it talks about humility being kind of the pathway to honor, to wisdom, to exaltation, to grace, to salvation. And it's not that humility is necessarily like an action, but rather just a humbling, a, um, a submitting of our own will, realizing that, okay, we, we're, we're not the end all be all. God is the ultimate and I can kind of surrender my own identity to him. And in that, I don't have to just obsess about myself and how I can push my own personal brand forward or how I can get other people to like me, but I can just let it all go. I can let it all go. And so when we think about humility, humility is the pathway to letting go and ultimately to peace. How can we find humility? Well, we ask God for humility. Number one, we ask God for humility. We meditate on God and his word. And in turn, we see that his, we see him as most significant. I think of the words of John the Baptist, and I believe he said, uh, you must increase and I must decrease. In the midst of that decretion, we don't have to obsess about ourselves, which is absolving ourselves of this weight that we put on ourselves to measure up, to be this perfect person, to be this perfectionist, to maintain our personal brand or our image or for people to think well of us or to speak the most in social context in order to get people to know that we are knowledgeable and we are adequate and we are enough. We can let go of all that and just surrender it to God. I don't need to be the smartest person in the room. This is a hard thing for me to actually believe, you know, because I, because there's a deep thing in me that I want to show people that I'm smart, that I know what's going on, that I, that I'm not a, just a loser. I, I can, I can, I know stuff, but if you can let that desire go and just speak last and listen and listen intently, that is the beginning to peace, to just being at peace. I say this, I say this often actually, uh, when I'm, when something happens in my life that triggers me in some way and I feel like the, the pushback of wanting to fix it or, or make it right or, or get into this depressive state or anxious state, I just say this, I'm like, I am at peace with God and myself. I am at peace with God and myself. And that's not some new agey thing. It's just saying that because of Jesus, I have a pe- I have peace with God. And because I have peace with God, I have peace with myself. I don't need to be at odds with myself or who I am because I'm made in the image of God. I'm his creation. I'm his new creation. So I can be at peace with myself. I am choosing these days, and this is what I encourage you guys towards, is choosing attentiveness rather than asserting my own knowledge or expertise or perceived expertise. Because you can be in a room, especially with what I do, um, working on the, in the online space and working, uh, you know, telling people about Jesus. There's many different contexts where I can get myself hyped up or wrapped up in this idea that I need to show people that I'm smart, 
that I know the Bible, that I know evangelism, that I know social media. Um, and so, but, but really in these days, I just allowed myself to say, I'm at peace with God. I'm at peace with myself. And if people, somebody asks me a question, okay, if I see a place that I can share something that's, that's, that's knowledgeable or wise in some way, then maybe I might. The beautiful thing is that when you embrace humility, rejection and failure lose hold of you. Rejection and failure lose hold of you. Because what rejection and failure do is they strike you right where it hurts the most, your identity. They tell you, you're not man enough. You can't do this. You're not competent. You're not capable. You're not successful. You're not enough. You're a loser. You suck, right? Like these words, these negative self-talk that comes in when we encounter rejection and failure. But when you are humble, it's not that you agree with those things, but rather, you know, hey, I don't need to obsess about either how good I am or how bad I am because it's not about me. It's about the mission. And this becomes a beautiful thing because we can disconnect ourselves. Some uh, There's a level of detachment here that is happening between us and what we do, us and what we know, us and our knowledge base, us and our competence base. Like we don't need to find our identity in those things because we are secure in Christ. My goal this year in so many ways has been to stop taking myself so seriously, to just let go. It's like, okay, some people think I'm done. That's okay. Some people think, I, you know, whatever else about me, that's okay. I don't need to feel like I need to maintain this, this persona. It's irrelevant. Who cares? Stop taking yourself so seriously. And, and so maybe if you struggle with that, this is a journey that we're walking on. It's a progressive thing. But the more that we can let go of that, that embrace humility, we let go, we embrace peace. Ooh, this lightness that we're just that we're walking into is going to be so, so beautiful. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, join the Brotherhood and subscribe because I'm putting out new videos every single week. If you want to join our exclusive Discord, become a channel member or join on Patreon and you can join that today. It would be a huge blessing. Until next time, keep pursuing the mission.